Electric going forward, but fishier at the back than Billingsgate Market. Tottenham are the great entertainers of English football, and in another rip roaring ride at Big Orange Fairground, they went from thrills on the roller coaster to scares on the ghost train. When the carousel stopped spinning, Spurs were still on course to reach the Europa League's knockout stages. But Ange Postacoglu was frustrated by German veteran Mats Hummel's stoppage, time equaliser as Tottenham slipped to ninth. It was great fun, even if your cardiologist may not agree, and if truth be told, defeat would have been desperately harsh on one of European football's godfathers. At 73, Roma coach Claudio Ranieri returned to the front line earlier this month, he must be mad. The Tinkerman's legend is forever secure in English football after he led Leicester's 5,000,000 hopers to their title miracle in 2016. But age concerns helpline should have been going into meltdown with callers fearing for a septuagenarian chilled to the bone on a North London touchline. Instead of having his feet up with a nice glass of Chianti, the Emperor Claudio was prowling in his technical area and urging his men forward like an orchestra conductor. In his last 38 games as a Premier League manager, incorporating his last seven matches at Leicester and short shrift at Fulham and Watford, Ranieri took just 23 points relegation form by any yardstick. But his career has enjoyed a renaissance back in Italy, where he saved Cagliari from relegation in Serie A last season, prompting Roma to bring him out of short-lived retirement for a third stint in the Eternal City. Ranieri's thermals had barely warmed his toes when Hummelsfeld papes are in the box, an obvious penalty, although it took referee Glenn Eberi ages to give it after VAR intervention, and skipper Hung, Min Sun fired Spurs in front from the spot. The South Korean poster boy's fourth goal of the season, after just five minutes, sent Roma keeper Miles Villa the wrong way. And it should have given Tottenham the confidence to catch the wave again after their astonishing demolition of champions Manchester City last weekend. But they lapsed back into slipshod, careless ways and a familiar weakness soon resurfaced. Paolo Dybala's free kick was glanced in off the bar by Evan Dicker's fine header, and two minutes later Spurs were only spared by a borderline offside call ruling out Stefan Elsara wise volley. Then Fraser Forster, all six feet seven inches of him, plummeted low to keep out Dybala's skimming effort before Tottenham restored their lead after 33 minutes. Brennan Johnson swept home Dejan Kulusevsky's cut, back with a glorious first time finish for his ninth goal of the season and a minute later sunspoon the rebound over the top from eight yards after Kulusevsky's shot hit the far post. Pushing their luck again, Spurs survived two more goals disallowed for offside before Roma shuddered the bar, all within 15 minutes of the restart. Pedro Porro returned serve by skimming the woodwork, and Dominic Solink's close, Ranger header also knocked on wood. But Tottenham were lucky not to be reduced to 10 men after Rodrigo Bentancur's poor challenge on Alexis S.A.E. Kimikas brought Ranieri rushing to the touchline picketing for a red card. And justice was done when Hummels turned home Angelino's driven cross, shot with the hourglass running short of sand. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.